the best thing you notice about Strasbourg is the houses and the structure and the whole architects. It's fabulous, it's fantastic. We're not a city people, but we love this city. We are going to Petit France, which is a super cute sort of old town of Strasbourg. And also this city is protected by UNESCO, so you already see a very unique design of this whole city, which looks super cute. I really like it. You like it? Yes. So Strasbourg is actually a very famous place for many reasons. Like in the winter they have Christmas markets, which are the most popular of entire Europe. We just missed that, but there's still much more to do here. And also it's a very popular place because it has lots of European buildings here. So lots of things happening here for the whole Europe. But a very bizarre fact that we found out about this city is that in 1517, I believe it was, there was a dance pandemic. And I was like, what does that mean? So it turns out that there was this lady, she started dancing on the streets and many people followed and that went on for weeks. And eventually some people even died because they were just dancing too hard and i thought this is just such a weird story it can't be true but we looked a bit deeper into it and it actually be true and yeah still scientists are not 100 percent sure what caused this whole dance pandemic they think that it might be something of uh, people having lots of stress and yeah this actually just shows how complex human beings are so um yeah can you imagine some people like hundreds of people here dancing on the streets we miss that but <laughs> it's uh, more than a hundred years ago but uh, i can definitely imagine it in this city because <laughs> it looks uh, super cute here makes me want to dance you yeah <laughs> we are heading now to our lady cathedral and this is one of the most famous places of strasbourg because it's in a certain gothic medieval kind of style so really curious how that's gonna look like it looks super cute on the picture at least and um see you there <laughs> That musician that you see in the video, we actually gave him money. Like we only had 35 cents or 50 cents, I guess, in coins. So we put it in his bucket and he took it off and threw it away on the ground. As if like it's so, so small money to contribute. He was so rude and so ungrateful. Yeah, we were shocked when we saw that, right? Yeah, I mean, just, just say thank you, you know? Like yeah. I would have given more if I had, if I had, but that was literally all we had. And we just wanted to give him better something than nothing because we appreciated his Indeed. music, but uh, he didn't appreciate our money. <laughs>
Well, it's raining a little bit, but now we're heading back. But this Lebanese restaurant is fantastic. Yeah, we're finally back in the van. We're gonna drive to another spot. Yeah, we're gonna clean up our van. We have to clean the toilet. Fill up the water. Fill up the water. Get rid of the dirty water. And tomorrow we're gonna visit a really nice spot. So we have to be a bit closer to it. Now we're done with Strasbourg. What did you think? I actually love the city, like the whole structure and the buildings and the houses, they look so cute and it's so nice to see something different because in most Europe you don't see that. Like most of the houses are just the same, like in the Netherlands you just see the same houses, for example. And here in Strasbourg every every house is almost unique. Very unique design in general. Yeah, it it's so cool. Cute. And the Lebanese restaurant is one of my favorite, <laughs> like the Lebanese taste of it is really Lebanese because the cooker and her husband I guess is family business they are actually Arabic and mostly I think they are Lebanese the restaurant itself is called Hummus and Co. Hummus and Co. yeah exactly <laughs> it's so nice and yeah it was a really great day right just one downside of Strasbourg is the parking yeah and it's... that is very hard whether you have a car or a camper van if you want to park in a city it's hard to find a parking because the first parking we found it was one hour 10 euro or something yeah. maximum three hours for 35 euro which is crazy Super um, expensive. that's even more expensive than Amsterdam so yeah. we found another parking we had to walk 35 minutes but we're totally fine with that but um, yeah we use an app for that now yeah and it's that called shows, park for night yeah park for night and it shows like all the parking so it's also good if you have a camper van that you can search where you can park because not all parkings are available for camper vans but you can can also search for places to sleep within the nature or camping or service points yeah, anything indeed. really like super handy and make sure it's free always yeah. in this application you can find below the, the locations the reviews and people always mention if it's free or what's available in there so uh, be careful of that because yeah Strasbourg is really expensive city one thing we also find in Strasbourg there's there's a lot of homeless people oh yeah indeed. and drunk people like they don't bother you but there's a lot of people asking you for money and uh, read this yeah. letter so you can give me money and, and like six languages yeah <laughs> indeed like they have all the languages so one, one of the girls approach us for money and she have a letter that is written in, Ara in English Arabic French uh, Dutch yeah she said they pick the language you want and you can give you I mean it's sad because yeah. we don't know if she really needs that or not but most likely she doesn't because all those people just sit on the streets and ask for money yeah I mean, there's thousands of jobs and uh, opportunities and you, yeah, still... You choose to uh, beg for money instead of work. Yeah, and it seems maybe. like the people are making money here because like even the musician on the street, that never happened to us. Like <laughs> no, no, we, so we, we contribute to, yeah, we just crossed, we'd make a shot of five seconds and we wanted to leave. And Mike asked, she have like small coins, like 50 cents, should I give it to him? I said, yes, I mean, 50 cents better than nothing because we don't have cash. So she put for him 50 <laughs> 50 cent it was like three different coins of yeah, that makes 50 cent he grabbed them and throw them on the floor like so rude like so he's not even right? yeah. yeah yeah he's super ungrateful like yeah. uh, we were actually shocked yeah i really didn't know what was going on yeah he said something in french but i had no clue what he said yeah it's like uh, don't put this rubbish here or something yeah. he was so rude i mean come on like you're here to uh, make money what do you expect every person to uh, contribute five euros then you become a millionaire uh, living on the streets but yeah after all we enjoyed it a lot just uh, so you have the prawns and the cons right? yeah indeed the pros and the cons the pro prawns the prawns the pros the pros and the cons <laughs> The, the shrimps and the cons. Yeah. <laughs> so you have the pros and the cons of the Strasbourg city, but yeah. definitely recommend it. It's so beautiful and you will love it. I'm sure also in summer is even more beautiful. We were lucky today to uh, catch a bit of non-rain uh, hours. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we uh, went to the cathedral. We also saw that big oh watch. That, God, that that was... that is insane. This watch is definitely insane. The astronomic. 
cool. Yeah, it, it is everything you can find about the whole unit, about the whole planet, like the days and the months and the, oh, so much going it's, on. Yeah, this. all connected to the clock. And so. it's made like years and years ago and you can't believe that technology did exist. It's very, very impressive. Yeah, and I loved it. Petite France was amazing. Super cute. Yeah, they have these tiny roads and tiny houses and yeah. the river in between. You can take a boat tour in the canal with a uh, touristic guide and they tell you about these places and the history about it. It's, it's also so beautiful. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more and more episodes because we are driving across Europe for the next two three months. Yes, so. we appreciate that a lot. And see you next time.